In this video, we're going to dive into something that's really strange, and it's, it's a concept of cognitive biases. You see, your brain and my brain has way too much data coming in, more information than the 300 million pattern recognizers that we have in our neocortex can actually handle. And because of that, we take shortcuts. And these are called heuristics or cognitive biases. So here's an example of a shortcut. We have a tendency to trust people who are better looking. We have a tendency to trust people who look like us or dress like us. I mean, are you wearing a black button-down shirt? Do you trust me because of that? You know, there are other cognitive biases that I want you to think about through your day. You know, one of the cognitive biases is the illusion of control. You know, it's the guy or gal at the sporting event who at a particular on the fourth down line has to be standing up and cheering in a certain way because they know that when they do that, that team is going to win. Now, of course, that's a illusion of control. There's an overconfidence effect, the tendency to overestimate one's own abilities. And there's a primacy effect, the tendency to weigh the initial events far more than subsequent events. You know, one of my favorite ones that we all have to be careful about as entrepreneurs is confirmation bias. Now, this concept of confirmation bias is searching for interpreting information in a way that confirms one's preconceptions. Now, you can call this the herd effect, you can call it whatever you want, but if you're an entrepreneur and you have a great idea that you think is a great idea for a startup and you go and find people who also believe that's a great idea and surround yourself by other entrepreneurs who think that's a great idea and don't ever get criticism, that's a way of getting confirmation bias and it can lead you down a road that's a dangerous road. I know in my conversations with Elon, he, uh, Elon Musk from Tesla and SpaceX, he has said to me, listen, my best friends are those that give me the most brutal criticism. I don't want to hear that you think it's a great idea. I want you to tell me what's wrong with this. So your ability to not fall into a confirmation bias as an entrepreneur, to really hear everybody's ideas, the negativity, the reasons that's wrong with it, and weigh and balance those things is critically important. Okay, in our next video, I'm going to go into what I consider the four other most important areas for entrepreneurs in the world of cognitive biases. What to watch out for, what to be looking for.